Hello and welcome everyone to my another video. This is Pratham from Trips to Developers. And in this tutorial, um, we're gonna learn about how to add a multiple currency to your store, to your Shopify website basically. So uh, this customization lets you provide a drop down selector that let customer view your prices in different currencies. And the currency selector uh, selection will be stored in a cookie and used again on the next visit to your store. So on your customization theme page, you can choose which currency you want to show in your drop down menu. As simple as that. So a uh, customer can go ahead and uh, choose their own currency and shop around in your store. Alright, so uh, let's get started uh, with creating that. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to cover edit your money formats. We're going to edit your customized theme page file, con configure the currency options, upload the jQuery currency files as an asset then we have to uh, add a couple of snippets uh, and then display the currency picker on your store and then explain the customer how what happens at the checkout so let's get started with that first of all you will go to your Shopify admin and uh, you will go to your settings in settings you will go to your general and scroll down to the bottom of the general and you will find standards and formats you will change the formatting by clicking on change formatting and uh, in your store you will see that you will have only this uh, amount of uh, thing in the HTML with currency tag and HTML without currency tag so go ahead and add this pan class tag before the uh, amount and add n, um, n tag span after the formatting tag and do the same with HTML without currency as well, uh, as well. And now uh, you might notice that by default the original uh, HTML without currency tag which you have in your store do not have the um, currency over here. So uh, just to avoid the confusion go ahead and add the uh, currency same as right here. So uh, the same uh, both of the codes up in the HTML with currency and without currency look sh should uh, same uh, totally they should uh, look same. All right, and uh, that's all you will have to do in the uh, formatting for the moment. Now uh, you will be heading to your um, online store, and in the online store you will be heading out to your theme. And as you are here, you will find the three dots up here uh, just be after the uh, before the customized theme. Uh, click on it and go to HTML uh, CSS editor. And the first thing you will have to do is you will uh, have to go to your config at the bottom. Uh, in setting uh, schema JSON, you will scroll down, open the file, and scroll down to the bottom of the file. And uh, just before the last bracket, you will add a line of code um, from here. I will I will be uh, giving the all the. Uh, code this uh, codes links in the description all the codes what we will be going to use in this tutorial will be given in the description down below with the step one to four so uh, this code will be the step one code so you will be copying this code and uh, going back to your um, editor pasting this uh, code just before the ending uh, bracket and you'll be saving that right asset saved successfully now um, next step you will be doing is uh, you will be configuring your um, currency options to configure the to configure the currency options as you have added the uh, settings uh, script in the editor you will find the uh, currency option in your customized theme tab so you'll go to the customize and you will see that now you have a new currency column here you will click on it and uh, select how you want to show the format like with currency or without currency right uh, and uh, uh, you can select the supported currencies uh, which your which your store can support or uh, which you would like to support for your customers and you will place the default currency whatever your store default currency is or you want to show a default currency as for your customers so you will have uh, that currency over here and yes and uh, then that's all you have uh, to do here in the customized tab now you will be adding the uh, jquery currencies um, file 
which will be here in the next step in the description you will uh, find step 2 code uh, you go to the step 2 code link and you will have this link up here and you will click on clone or download and download the zip file as you download the zip file on your uh, desktop or any of your uh, location you will be uh, seeing this zip file extracted on your desktop and you will find the uh, file as I have already extracted this file we just need uh, jquery.currencies.main file for our store at this moment so we'll go back to our editor as we have unzipped the file we can go back to our theme option edit html css and here what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna add the asset click on assets add a new asset choose file and upload the jquery.currency.min and upload the asset alright so as you upload the asset you, next step you will do is uh, upload um, sorry uh, create a new snippet so in the snippets you will go to add a new snippet and call these snippets currencies and create a snippet here after creating a snippet you will find a blank file you will go to our step 3 uh, link in the description where you will find uh, this code copy the whole code from line 1 to 64th and you will paste it down here in the currency.liquid file and save it alright and now the um, as you have added the currencies.liquid file uh, what you have to do is you have to add the currency.liquid file uh, to the theme.liquid file because theme.liquid file is the master file and uh, theme.liquid shows everything what is seen on your storefront so you will go to the theme.liquid file and at the end of your um, file you will find the ending body tag just before the ending body tag you will have to um, paste this code include currency so you're asking them to include the currency snippet in theme file so that currency can show up on the home page or on your storefront of course and you will save that now uh, the last thing what you will do is um, with the coding stuff which will be creating your currency picker so you will have displaying currency picker on your uh, website for uh, customers so can they can uh, click on it uh, have the drop down and then they can select the desired uh, currency they would like to shop with so yes you will go to the f step 4 in the description uh, in this video and you will uh, copy the code from the link uh, step 4 link the whole code from line 1 to 13 you will come back to your uh, editor you will add a new snippet again and this time you will call this snippet currency picker right and create snippet right and now uh, you will paste the code which we have copied from our uh, step fourth link and you will save this alright so uh, as you have added the currency picker same as currencies.liquid we will again uh, show this currency dot, uh, currency picker in your theme.liquid file and now it totally depends on you that for where you would like to place the code um, if your theme uh, make sure that if your if your theme uses uh, div elements in the top and bottom section of your store pages instead of head and footer in your theme.liquid file then uh, you will need some some basic html and css skill to place this currency picker exactly where you would like to have to be shown uh, to your customer so uh, in here um, of course we will add this include code uh, to our uh, theme.liquid file because um, you want to show this currency picker on all of the pages of your website and as this is the master file in the theme.liquid you will paste the include currency picker code 
and paste it wherever you like to have uh, it shown so um, mo in most of the theme you will add uh, between the uh, starting and ending header tag or starting or ending footer tag or um, wherever you would like to put so uh, in here I would like to put uh, just after the uh, if you see our um, website um, just the development store and you will see that in in the top bar I can place it somewhere right here so what I will do is I will go to uh, the editor and place that include code just after the somewhere between I think uh, search button so yeah I uh, had a search somewhere after uh, before the search button so let's have this just ending code of div and include the currency picker and save it and let's check if it's if it's displaying right on our uh, storefront all right so we have this uh, currency picker showing up here uh, you have to select that which place you would like to so uh, try adding this code in different places in your theme.liquid to check that where, where exactly you would like to have this code if you're uh, really new with this HTML CSS uh, languages so you can now um, change the different currencies like this if I if I choose this uh, right now if you see in my card it's showing in euro so 129 euro it's showing up here uh, if I if I choose GBP uh, then it will show in pounds and it says 111 and if I choose USD then 144 so it's actually changing the prices and um, alright be informed guys that this prices uh, this actual prices the uh, is coming from XE.com so uh, all the Shopify stores are using the currency rates of XE.com so where whatever the XE.com is and the prices are it will be shown up uh, here and uh, Shopify always update that database of currencies uh, of exchange rate every um, every 24 hours of course yes all right now what what you will do is um, now you have to let customer know that uh, uh, this is the um, currency picker and uh, if even if you choose the uh, currency picker uh, from the your desired uh, currency the store will check out in the default store currency itself so explain to your customer what happens at the checkout right so um, you can um, show uh, show them that um, for example the and the process uh, for example your store process all the orders in your uh, store currency price but uh, as you are in the uh, right now if you are cho have chosen euro then it will say that uh, while the content of your card is displayed in euro but you will check out using the shop currency at most currency ac most um, uh, current exchange rates for example so uh, where you can uh, place the code um, in your card dot liquid you have to uh, place the, uh, this thing in your paragraph tag shop name your shop name process all orders in shop currency use the same code like this because these tags are used by Shopify so this is what you have to use in your shop currency itself so shop currency same write it like this shop name also write it same like that and uh, cover it with the paragraph tag and uh, with the span tag which have a selected currency class Right, so it says that uh, whatever your shop name is, so our shop name will be Trips to Developers. So Trips to Developers process all orders in uh, USD, while the content of your card currently spread in Euro, for example. So it, it changes currency here, selected currency, Euro. You will check out using shop currency, which will be USD at the most current exchange rate. So you'll copy the whole code right here, and you'll uh, find the card dot liquid in your um, templates you will find the card.liquid and find the location uh, of checkout button so you will down here you will find the checkout button just after the uh, checkout ending div tag of checkout button you will have that um, showing up content your custom content you would like to show to your customer so that they know that your shop is using your own currency and not the displayed currency of course so uh, if we if we choose uh, some different like GBP 
and if we come down here the prices has changed to GPP and it says that trips the developers process all orders in USD while the content of your card is currently in GBP you will check out using USD at the most current exchange rate which will be of XE.com right so uh, that's all you have to do you have uh, completed the whole process um, thanks for being with me and I hope you have learned something new today and I have helped you uh, with your store or if you're learning a web designing then if I have helped you with something new today that would be I'm glad to um, um, make you uh, learn and um, we upload this kind of videos every week so uh, do subscribe to our channel leave a thumbs up uh, share our videos uh, comment down below if you want to know more about uh, web designing or um, uh, Shopify precisely so um, you can always let us know in our comments so that we know that uh, what we have to do next and we are always trying to uh, create something new for uh, you guys so that you can uh, learn something new for your stores and develop your stores yourself so all the codes uh, links will be in the description with the step one two three and four and it's really easy uh, you just uh, all the codes are made and you ha have to do is copy paste everything you just need to know where you have to paste it all right so um, I'm just gonna wrap this video right here I hope you have liked the video don't forget to subscribe peace